Hello everyone, this is Emil from iPhonePhotographySchool.com and this is the first video from the iPhone photo editing video tutorial. In this tutorial you're going to learn everything you need to know about post-processing your iPhone photos and yes, we are going to do this right on your iPhone. But before we get started, I want to make sure that you download Snapseed, which is the app that I have opened right now. Snapseed really is the number one app for all iPhone photo editing. I use it all the time, many professional iPhoneographers use it a lot, and it really is the best thing you can get. And the best of all, this app is now free. It used to be $5, and then it was great value. But since uh, Google acquired Snapseed last fall, this app is available free of charge, so there's really no reason why you shouldn't check it out. Okay, with that said, let's get started with Snapseed. Now, once you launch Snapseed, you're going to see on that on the right side you have a photo, and in this case we still have the sample image, and on the left side you have all these different modules, and you can scroll through them. If you change the aspect orientation, you get this view, and you can also go through all the modules, but for the purpose of this video we'll stay horizontal. The cool thing about Snapseed is that it's a universal app, and you can also use it on your iPad, and it looks exactly the same, except you have a bit more screen real estate which can make photo editing a bit easier. Okay, with that said, let's get started. And first we want to add a photo to Snapseed. And in order to do this, we have to press on this icon on the top left corner, which is the camera with a plus. And here we get to select image source. You could either take an image with your camera, but I wouldn't do this. You can choose it from photo library, or you can paste an image if you've copied it before. Since I haven't copied anything into the clipboard, I'll just have to open an image from the photo library. So let's do that. And here we have see all the all the photo albums that I have. And actually, I've already selected the photo that I want to sh to work with today. So I'll just select it here. I'll click on Use. And now the photo is imported. Now the first thing I want to do, and the first thing I usually do with photos, is I use the Strident mod module on the left, so it's this one. What this thing allows me to do is to straighten photos if for whatever reason I want to change the way they're displayed. And in most cases I would try to make the horizon or the horizontal lines in a photo be straight, but in this case I'm going to do something just a little bit different. I'm going to, in fact, do the opposite of straighten, and I'm going to rotate this photo just like this by 10 degrees, and I'm going to press save now. Now in Snapseed, one important thing you have to know is that on the bottom left corner, there's a bullet right here, and if you press that, you go back and your changes aren't saved. So we'll go back into straighten, do the same thing again, but this time we're going to press the right hand bullet which is going to save the changes that we want. Okay, it's processing, and now we see that the image is already tilted, just like I wanted. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the crop module on the left. And by the way, whenever you're doing a lot of photo editing, I always suggest that you do it in this order. First, you straighten the horizon, or make the image tilted, as I did in this case, then you crop it, then you do everything else. It makes life so much easier for you. Now for cropping, uh, what you do is you use one or two fingers to drag the corners around until you get the perfect position. And you can, uh, in cropping, you can use this button on the right and that's going to change the orientation of the photo. But here I'll just keep what I had before. And here on the left you have another button and once you press that you can select a bunch of different aspect ratios. Uh, since I send most of my photos straight to Instagram, I'm going to choose one by one, which is the square over here, and that will make it a lot easier for me to make an Instagram. So now, once I have this, you see that there are grid lines, and so if I want to apply the rule of thirds, it's a lot easier for me to do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just play around with this square using my fingers, just one finger is enough here, until I find what I think is the perfect composition. And let's just adjust this a little more. 
perhaps let's let's do this and this is already quite good just a bit more all right i like this composition a lot here you can see that i'm i am following the rule of thirds because uh, the faces of the subjects are roughly at the intersection of the two grid lines but at the same time this composition is very unusual and the tilted angle makes it uh, even more so which is why i like this picture so much and what's also important is that i want to leave a tiny bit of the uh, shadows and of the reflections on, on the wet surface. So I'll leave that in as well. So now that I have the perfect composition, I'm gonna go to the top right, bottom right corner, click this button, and it will save the changes. Okay, so I've done the cropping, which is the first part of what I had to do. In the next part, I'm going to convert this image into black and white. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I want to save uh, all the changes and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this arrow on the top right corner. I'm going to say, say what I have to for the library. And now you see the image is being saved. Now if I don't do this and if I just close the app, when I come back the image may no longer be there. So always keep in mind this, that you want to save the changes. And I want, and actually it's a good idea to do this as often as possible. Because, you know, sometimes, for example, I might be able with, I might be happy with what I did here in step one, but once I do the further uh, editing, I may no longer like the result. But if I want to go back, it's good to have some photos from intermediate stages saved. Okay, thanks folks for watching. That's the end of part one, and I'll see you in part two.